Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Matthew and I'm back with another video. Sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm, I, you know what? I bought myself a little like camera where you can see what I'm doing, but I don't have a memory card for it. And I haven't had time to get one because usually when I get off work, everything's closed. I think I have a CVS by me that might have something, but the last time I went, I couldn't find it. So whatever, I'm just using my phone for now. Plus. My phone's got really good camera quality, and I just need to buy something to strap around my chest, maybe. That will help out. But if you don't know, I'm here, working, on break currently. That's what I picked up so far. Been about three places in total, so not too bad. See, if you uh, don't know, I shaved, had time to shave. Um, so I'm just here at work. Uh, today's topic of the video is what company you should work for. Now the four companies I'm gonna be talking about are Amazon, FedEx, UPS, and USPS. Now this is just an opinion um, and what I know. And I, the only companies I've worked for delivery-wise is Amazon and FedEx. I haven't worked for FedEx Ground uh, the U.S. the postal office, or or UPS. Although I have worked at UPS as a package handler. Before I start, I was parked back here in this very isolated place, and uh, the cops came by. And it was a little bit darker. It was way darker out here, and I was waiting for my next pickup. So I pulled over here. It was a drop box. A uh, cop pulled up. It looked like a spaceship, I promise you. It was all bright lights shining my way. And I was like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, he just drove by, looked at me, and he was like, have a good day. I was like, all right, you too. <laughs> but I thought that was funny. All right, let's talk about Amazon first. So, easy to get an Amazon. I think anyone can get in as long as you got a driver's license. And I think you got to be 21 years old. To be a to be a courier process was super fast took about honestly it took about two days for me to start online which is a bunch of boring videos that last about eight hours at least the first day i was on it and then you take some tests that you have to pass um after that you're on board uh, everyone's experience is way different just depending on who your dsp is what they did for me, the first two days, I took a test in one of these vehicles, actually, which is a white rental van. Um, usually, you'll see, like, the Amazon Prime vans, uh, like Mercedes or Ford Transit. They're also coming out with, like, Do the Dodge ones, too. So, if you pass that, which I hope you do. I've seen people fail, by the way. Absolutely insane. <laughs> but I passed it, right? And then they asked me if I wanted to start... The following day or the day after i was like let me get a break in between and i'll start on the day after because i think it was going to be monday i was like i want sunday off so after that it was pretty much um they took me to the station showed me how it goes and uh had me load up my van and i was off i had about 80 stops that's not much coming from amazon since you're doing mostly residential uh pretty easy finished on a good time did that for about a week then it got insane after that i was doing apartments I was doing houses doing commercial i was driving it everywhere i was rescuing people i was fast-paced work environment never had time for bathroom breaks was just all was just always on the run um and overall i think the pay was okay i mean they start you off at I think it's 1650 here in texas it's different for everyone everyone else though um i made a video about that already but with amazon easy to get in um but not much opportunity uh, not much growth and honestly most people don't make it past a year uh, there's a few people but since you're not going anywhere with that job it's just a job to have so you can find something better and when i work there I had the same, that mindset going in already. All right, next we're gonna talk about is FedEx Express slash Ground. So uh, a lot of people don't know this, but 
there are two different um, FedExes, I guess you should say. There's FedEx Ground, which is contractors that you work under. And then there's FedEx Express, which is pretty much actually FedEx, right? The people that the people that actually made FedEx what it is today. And um, you can grow with the company pretty much. Um, so the differences uh, from Express to Ground, that's pretty much the big one. Uh, we don't really take each other's stuff. Every now and then there might be a ground package in my in my van, but um, that you're able to tell by the logo at the front of your of your label here. If you see if you see an E on it, that's us. And then I think ground has G and H. I think G and H. Yeah. I like to compare um, ground a lot with Amazon, even though I've never worked for it. From the sounds of it, it sounds about the same. You're doing a lot of stops uh, plus pickups with um under contractors so pay and all that varies um you don't get any benefits from what i know like you're not guaranteed any benefits i should say and um the pay is different it just it just all depends who your contractor is so you really can't move up from ground i know that you can get raises and and i've i've worked under a contractor before i used to always Ask them for a raise, especially if the freight got way too much out of hand. And the only big difference that I see is that whenever I go and people think I'm ground, there's like a thousand boxes they try to get me. I'm like here for express and they point me the other direction. One little envelope. I'd be glad to take that. But all jokes aside, here at express, it's a lot different. Um, you can actually make this a career. Um, the starting pay here in Texas is 18, 1886. Don't quote me on that, but it's around 18 to 19 dollars. Uh, some people can start off at 21 if you're a swing driver and you get raises every year, which I don't think that's guaranteed though. Because um, when I got hired, I heard some of the drivers didn't get raised for about two years. So FedEx ground contractors get paid by the day or stop. Here we get paid on on the clock so that's a big difference um, I know when I worked for Amazon under my DSP it was no matter what time you finish you're gonna get counted for a 10-hour day so that was always good so it made me work fast um, for a reason so I can go home early not every day I went home early though I had to go do rescues and all that but I can understand a ground driver being really fast at his work and getting the opportunity to go home here at Express, if I have a five hour day, I'm only getting paid for five hours. So I you know, I don't I don't say I milk the clock, but at the same time I want my hours, so Oh yeah, and FedEx Express doesn't work Sunday. So uh, you can work Saturdays, but my schedule is Monday through Friday. I don't work weekends unless it's peak season of course. Alright, next is the postal service usps now i don't know too much about this but we might as well talk about it right i've been around them a lot i know when i worked for amazon we were always running into each other i was always in front of their mailbox and they were always in front of my <laughs> front of my just in my way i'm just kidding i'm not trying to hate but starting pay here in texas as a as one of their package drivers i don't know what they call it i think it was like 16 to 17 dollars um all I know is they do a lot of walking. Uh, the pay is okay, right? It's not it's not bad pay, but it's not good pay either. But it, it potentially becomes good pay. Um, you're not guaranteed a route, so you're doing something different every day or doing something for a while, and then it'll switch up on you. Um, and you got to work your way up to get your own route. So it takes years. I just talked to a... Um, a guy that works for the postal service and he said that he's been with that place for four years and he's next in line so congratulations to that guy because i know it's really tough they call you your, your manager's always calling you getting on to you i've heard crazy stories people working seven days a week no days off and a um, crazy amount of hours so i mean that's all i really have to say um i think the hiring process is different too i think you got to pay take a test or something like that i don't know but 
I, I don't know about post server. You guys are champs, though. Like, for real, that make it out and get their own route, that's a lot of hard work. And uh, to put that amount of time and stress on your body and mind, shout out to you guys, for real. And last but not least is UPS. The brown boys. The people that make the most money, honestly. <laughs> um, I can't work for UPS anymore because I used to be a package handler for a while. And they treated me like dog crap when I was in there. Um, absolutely hated it when I was a package handler. Was by far one of the worst jobs I've ever had. Um, it was in an airport area where the planes would take off. So it was always busy in there. They were always yelling. Stuff was just crumbling down the floor. Like, I'm not saying FedEx has that type of feeling in there but there's a lot more respect going on here at fedex express but the pay is way different <laughs> if you can make it out um i think they hired drivers too i've seen some people get in i think starting pay here in texas is like 21 dollars, and i think after four years you're sitting close to 40 i mean that's that's a lot of money 40 dollars an hour um it's tough. Like I said, it's tough work. The UPS driver that I see every day, um, he's always running behind. But they um, they put a lot on him at the same time. He gets he starts before me and he leaves later than me. That's let's just say that. Um, I think free health care. Just a lot of stuff. I don't know. Sometimes I think about it. I'm like, man, I should have stuck around because that pay. That pay is something else. UPS, you have more say so too. Um, I know they negotiate always with those that that pay and work out new contracts since it's under union. Um, but that's all I got because I got one more minute for my break. I could take up to an hour, but why? I need. I got stuff to do, right? <laughs> But other than that, man, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, working on another day of life, which I'm working on right now. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.